We're here in front of where St. Stanislaus is buried, and his witness of his life and death, it's really central to Polish Catholicism and to their ability to stand up to the dictators that have run through these lands. St. Stanislaus was the Bishop of Krakow in the 11th century, and he stood up against the king because the king was renowned for his immoral lifestyle and his violence, especially his immorality and violence toward women. So the bishop reached out to him again and again, and he refused to convert. So the bishop excommunicated the king. Um, now the king was really angry about this, and the church doesn't do that kind of thing to be vindictive, but to make a point, your soul's in danger. You gotta fix your standing with God. All right, but instead of fixing his standing with God, the king sent subjects to kill St. Stanislaus, to kill the, his bishop. The subjects refused because they loved their bishop. So the king went and found him celebrating mass and hacked him to death himself. St. Stanislaus remains a powerful symbol that we as a church stand up against the power of dictators and we stand for religious liberty no matter what because we bow, you know, we respect earthly authority, but above all else, we bow to the authority of God. And freedom of religion, it's not just about the freedom to worship behind the walls of your church. It's about the freedom to be who we are in any setting. And it's a scary thing in our own country. They're reducing that freedom of religion to just freedom to worship, trying to keep us in the church. But John Paul, he taught us how to oppose evil. He taught us how to fight for our faith. And that freedom of religion is the first civil and political right that we need to protect and defend. And that's freedom to conduct our lives the way we conduct ourselves in the public arena, formed by our faith, fueled by our faith, in accordance with the dictates of our faith, no matter what. So I pray to God that we have the, uh, the courage to stick with the tradition of the bishops of Krakow and, and hold fast to our freedom of religion no matter what. So stay tuned as in our continuing coverage of World Youth Day as we bring you the sights and sounds from Krakow, Poland.